I have a question for you. What is Canada's game? Hockey. Hockey, hockey. right. I'm not going to talk about hockey this morning. I'm going to talk about Canada's other game, curling. <laughs> My name is Kim Cavanaugh. I curl out of the Peace Arts Curling Club. And what I'd like to do with you this morning is introduce you to the basics of curling and invite you to try out this great game that will keep you physically and socially fit. So, where did curl curling get started? It was born in Scotland, and it came to Canada with Scottish immigrants way back in the mid-1860s, and it's a good thing that it did because Canadians seem to have taken to it extremely well. We have produced as a nation many world champion and Olympic champion curlers. So, the game basics. Curling is played at a rink, not a hockey rink, a curling rink. And it's played on sheets of ice. And that's what a curling rink and the sheets of ice look like. Now, you may be familiar with shuffleboard, and it's kind of, this is just a, a big shuffleboard. So those are sheets of ice in a curling rink. Now, you play with a team, two teams to make a game. Each team has four players. You can have all male teams, all female teams. You can have mixed teams, which are two men, two women. Or you can have open. You can play in an open league, which is some combination of guys and gals. Now, the uh, goal of the game, like most games, is uh, you win if you score more points. The way you score points in curling is to get rocks, which we'll talk about in a minute, into those rings that you see on the screen there. This is what a curling sheet looks like. This is the anatomy of a curling sheet. You see the bullseyes at both ends, and that's what you are shooting for when you're trying to, to score points. Um, the other goal in, in curling, other than to, you know, win the game, crush your opponent, oh, <laughs> it's really just to have fun. It's a very social game. So, how was curling played? Well, I mentioned that there's four players on a team. There's a lead who throws the first two rocks, rock one and two. There's a second which show, throws rocks three and four. There's a third, or sometimes called a vice, and that individual throws rocks five and six. And then there's the skip, the grand poobah, the person who makes the big bucks. The skip is the person who throws rocks seven and eight, the last two rocks in, in an end, and <coughs> also is the quarterback, calls the shots, if you will. Now, it's a complicated game, and we only have a few minutes, but hopefully that gives you a sense of uh, how the game goes. Now, uh, I mentioned this rock, and you can see, uh, you saw on the first slide that there's um, rocks uh, at the rink, and there is a bit of a close-up. Now, I brought with me a rock. Now, I mentioned that this is a good workout. 40 pounds, 40 pounds, good workout, wow. <laughs> physically fit. This rock is not 40 pounds. <laughs> Although I had to go in there, didn't I? <laughs> Rocks are made out of granite. They virtually all come from Scotland still to this day. And the rock has the handle on it. The skip, as I mentioned, the Grand Poobah that calls the shots, will stand at one end of the rink and will call the shot. And whoever's throwing the rock gets in what's called the hack, which is a, a cutout piece um, in the ice so that you can anchor and push off and your momentum takes you forward. The skip will call which way you are to turn the rock so the rock will curl one way or the other way. So there's a curling rock. Now, you can imagine... I just mentioned you've got to slide out of the hack. If I was sliding out of the hack in my running shoes, I would 
tip right over. So curlers wear special shoes, and in this case, I didn't bring my shoes because I didn't think you'd want those, but this is a slider, and you'll notice that the bottom is very smooth. So when you have this under your foot, that allows you to slide out of the hack with the rock in your hand and deliver the rock as per the skip's call at the other end of the sheet. And the person who gets more rocks in the rings gets more points. Now, you're not alone when you're curling. As I said, it's a, it's a team of four. The other players, the skips at one end, <coughs> the shot, but you're in the hat ready to deliver your shot. You've got two teammates, sweepers. You might have heard, if you've seen any curling, um, a lot of yelling back and forth. Sweep! Hurry hard! <laughs> well, that's what these gentlemen are demonstrating on this, on this slide here. Curling is also a bit of a fashion statement if you'd like it to be, <laughs> but the loud pants are completely optional. <laughs> these are the Norwegians at the uh, Vancouver Olympics, and they debuted these fancy pants. <laughs> <laughs> so, that is a very, very short introduction to curling. We talked a little bit about the history, we talked about the game basics, we talked about um, how you play and the different positions on the team. And what I'd like to do is invite you to come out and try curling, because curling rocks. <laughs> <laughs> Can I ask a question, please? Yes, you absolutely may ask a question. Is curling expensive? It is not expensive. Okay. It, is, it is not expensive. Um, you can join a league, and there would be fees. Um, you know, like I, I curl, for example, in a mixed league on Friday nights, and I think my fees for the whole year from September through March to play um, is about $100. Okay. And the equipment, the broom, the slider, the rocks, obviously, it's not like in bowling where you come with your own ball. You don't bring your own rocks. They're all there. They're all at the club. They're all at the club. Okay, you anticipated my second question, which was, do you bring your own rock? <laughs> no. And one last question. When, they're the, when they, the per people brushing, who decides who brushes? Um, that's a very good question. Typically, the skip at the other end of the ice of the sheet has called the shot and they will call sweepers for line so th because they've got the angle so they will call sweepers on if the rock needs to be swept for line and what sweeping does is it warms up the surface of the ice and the, the friction warms up the surface of the ice and it will either help it curl more prevent it from curling or give you more speed so the skip will call on sweepers based on line most of the time. And sweepers have an innate um, ability, once you've played for a little while, to judge the rock. And sweepers will generally sweep based on what they think the weight of the rock is. Is it going to make it? Is it going to make it? We also have um, stopwatches.